All right. We are back. We are back. We are back. And this is the Real Bravado Network. And welcome to our live stream, Have the Conversation, where over here we address Black people issues, especially those issues that keep Black folk from being together. Guys, it's 2024, day one of 2024. Um, I had not intended on stream until next week, but I wanted to kind of get some stuff off my, off my, uh, off my chest real quick. If you guys didn't notice the name of the stream, will a new King arrive? This is going to be an interesting, um, talk today. I'm not, I, you know, I'm not one for being long winded. Those of you who come over here and watch regularly, you're not going to get no three, four, five, six, seven hour stream. I, I get in, um, uh, drop what I need to drop and I get out and I get out. Um, so this is going to be interesting kind of a stream. I want, I got a lot of stuff I want to get through. I'm going to try to get through it and I'm going to try to pack it in pretty good for you guys. But one of the things I'm going to do right off top is I want to address an issue to the fellas directly. So if you give me a second, I'm going to actually do that. But welcome everyone. Let's acknowledge the chat real quick. Let's see who's all here. Oh my goodness. All right. We want to, we want to, uh, 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 yeah. Those of you, VB and Israel is in the building. Thank you. Those of you who are watching, please, please hit that like button for our brother. We really, really, really appreciate the like button. What's up? The Black Lamb is in the building. How you doing, sis? I'm glad you're here. Um, hopefully you will rock out real good today with today's topic. I think a lot of you are really going to enjoy the conversation today, the topic today. Um, it's not going to be a lot of full of foolery. So it's we got some business to take care of right at the beginning of the first of the year. My sexy is strong, sister girl. <laughs> you know what it is. You know what it is. And um, someone I've never seen, well, Millennium uh, Glow, right? Thank you. Like number 10. Yeah, get them likes up. Thank you, sis, for coming through. I appreciate it. Um, this is your first time seeing me live. I think it's the first time I've seen you in the chat. So I appreciate you being here with me today. All right. Hold on. Let me get this up off of the screen. <clears throat> okay, let's get going, guys. Every time I want to click something, it don't quite go that way. But all right, all right, right off the top, guys. Let me. I want to address something real quick. But before I get to it, let me ask all the guys in in the chat real quick. Let me ask all the guys that are watching. It'll be watching later, and those who are participating in the chat, and those who are just watching on. We got quite a few of you in the building. Go ahead and hit those likes for me. Brandon is in the building. Thanks, brother, for, buddy, for dropping by. You can help me out with this one a little bit. But let me get going real quick. Let me ask Let me ask the brothers a question real quick. Um, are we winning, losing, or weak? That's the question of the stream today. Are our black men, are we winning, losing, or weak? Before I launch, let me make one thing perfectly clear. Because it might not seem like this uh, during times of the stream tonight that I am 100% an advocate for Black men and for our growth, for our development, for our outcomes. I'm 100% an advocate for that. And I have, over the last month, I've been, in, I've been on various different other platforms and simply because I ask certain questions, it has sent a lot of the brothers into a whole doggone tailspin and to the point where people were even guys have actually unsubscribed from me simply because I asked a question. Because I asked a whole question, these fellas have lost their everlasting mind because of a question. So are we, let me ask it again, are we? Black men, are we winning, losing, or weak? And I know asking that question may seem like I'm for the drag on the brothers. I'm not for the drag on the brothers. I'm over here to ask a question. I'm over here to push. I'm over here to apply pressure. I'm over here to have a conversation that are not having... That, are, that is not being had in normal spaces. I'm over here to do things. I'm not over here to have shouting matches and 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 pull up calls to to you know for people to pull up and I'm not over here doing this. 
one of the things that um people are you know those people people are starting to interact with me now behind the scenes which i really appreciate that and i love that because this is all about networking people are starting to really not really understand that what i say and what i mean on these streams i actually believe it in my real life i actually say it in my real life and i actually do everything i can to live it in my real life. And so a lot of times when I hear a lot of these conversations with the brothers right now, man, I, I, I go up and I ask the question, I always ask the question, how practical is that? And because I've had the nerve to ask people how practical it is for what you're saying, then all of a sudden TJ becomes King Simp because I want to know how do you apply what you're saying to real life? How does what does that mean for the brothers that are listening and for the people who are seeking answers and people who are seeking understanding when you're just out here saying shit and you're not actually talking about how does that work and what does that mean for brothers in real life? But I got to be the goddamn simp because I asked the damn question what does that mean and what does that look like? How do you apply that? What, what are we really saying to guys when we say certain things? How does they how do they take that and apply that and to get them where they need to get or what they need to get? Are we winning, losing, or weak? That's the question right now for this first half of the stream. Here's the hurtful truth, black men. Regardless of what we think about ourselves, regardless of what, how we view ourselves or, or what we call ourselves, what we think about ourselves, if you want to know what black men are or what any man is, if you want to know where he stands, just look at what his women chooses. The women, I know people are not going to like this, and a lot of guys are not going to like this, but to a degree, one of the components, now listen very carefully, because even men in this space have a hard time listening to shit. One of the components for validating who you are, one of the components to validating what you think you are is if if a woman selects or agrees to come into cooperation with you. That's one of the components. It's a big component. It's not the only component. And as a man, you shouldn't be overly concerned about it, but you it needs to be on your radar. Let me tell you what black women have decided about black men, good, bad, or indifferent. And I'm not going to sit up here and I got a guy and you know that I've been on streams with who wants to argue the percentages for me, but with me, but I'm not doing I'm not going to do that because my data comes from blackdemographics.com. People want to throw out um uh, uh data and numbers and not tell them where it comes from. Mine comes from blackdemographics.com, also the census bureau. Also, the CDC. Also, I read various journals and subjects and, 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 and research from various universities on the subject. Are we winning, losing, or weak? 75% of Black women, and this is a rough number, 75% of our one, our women have decided not to come into cooperation with any of us. Because 75% of our women are single mothers. You got, uh, uh, what's the brother name? Mr. Fantastic, who visits uh, This Might Be Risky podcast all the time. This brother talks about, oh, it's only 44%. Now, here's what he's not telling you. that. 
44% number he got from the Pew Research Institution. It's a study from the Pew Research. But what that 44% of number he comes from, that number 44%, he's saying 44% of black women are not single mothers. What he's not telling you is, is that they are actually, that 44%, what makes it looks like that we got a, such a large a large number of single women without children, the, what he's not factoring in is a factor in the cohabitation woman, women. The women who are cohabitating with, with their man, with a man. And are not caught, they're not counting those women as single women, as single mothers, because there's a man in the house. But it's not accounting for if that. And it doesn't also doesn't account the fact that those cohabitations are not married. So when you put in the cohabitation number with the women living in a house by themselves, you get about 75% of our women have decided not to come under cooperation and they're single mothers. So what does that say if women choose, is if a, a, a woman's cooperation or submission is an indicator of what they think about men in general. So what does that say? How, how, how does that paint how our women view us. Let's keep it a buck here. 70, the, the overwhelming majority of our women have decided that the overwhelming majority of black men are not worth pairing with. So what the hell does that mean for the overall respect in imagery of the black leadership, of the black man. What does that say about where his leadership ranks? What does that say about black manhood? What does that say about his ability to be respected off rip? How does that, how does that, un, a man who understands that, how is that, how does that impact his willingness to invest in the outcome of the people that share his reflection? Sure. Kunli, I don't give a damn about the MGTOWs. I'm over here truly saying that I want what's best for brothers who share my reflection. In order to do that, you got to ask yourself the stuff that we're talking about, the talking points. We got to sit here and ask the question, how does those talking points, how does that apply in real life? How does that apply? Are single and childless, and, and of that number, 60% of black men are, 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 are considered to be middle class. We have, we've allowed our women to define manhood or black manhood exclusively by a dollar number. Let's let's be real. Let's be real about it. We allow our women to define our manhood and what a real man is. Our women tells us when if we are a man or not. They tell us if we are a man or not. Our manhood is set by our women. They rule everything over us. And then you got us on these platforms pretending like that's not happening. Seventy-five percent of our women have chosen not to marry any of us. That is a whole problem. Yes, it is easy to blame 
to set all of that blame on our women. It's easy to do that. And trust and believe, I have outlined the, the behaviors and the attitudes and the programming, and, you know, of, of our women and, and how fucking out of control it is. The biggest question, the biggest thing that set people off on me last, was it last week or week before last, two weeks ago, that sent a lot of men off on me was the whole issue surrounding the baby daddy being a stepdaddy. Because I had the nerve to say something or ask men didn't like. And they lost their everlasting minds over a damn question. And then try to take my question and put words in my mouth and imply my imply that I had a stance that I do not have. It got so bad to the point where other content creators took that clip and started making did whole live streams on it. And yes, because I'm not a coward, I went over there and went over there. To, to because they wanted to, the stream was named after me and went over there and sat there for an hour and a half waiting for somebody to challenge discredit or, un, or or undermine anything I had to say and guess what happened not a damn thing You want to know what our women think of us, especially those who fall in the 54% category, single, childless, earn enough money to be considered middle class, which is which is basic stuff. You know what our women think of us? They think so highly of us that they think the only thing we deserve is to be the cleanup man. I mean, look at it. Our women are having children by men that they would not dare marry. Most of those guys are some of the scourges of the earth. We call them pookies. And then when and then when they realize that those situations are not going to work out, they come over to the 54% and present themselves as if they are doing us a favor and will call you a weak man or not a man if you do not sign up to take care of some other dude's responsibilities. That is what our women think of black men. Black women in general believe we are only good to take to take care of some lesser destructive irresponsible dirty bum dudes kid that's what our women think of us that that's all of, that's all we're worth you want to know how somebody feel about you you want to know somebody you want to know how what somebody think about you look at how they treat you But with that being said, that basically 75% of our women are single mothers, but we got almost 55% of the men, black men are single with no kids. Most 80% of black men have been proven that they want a black woman. That's almost all of us. I can't do nothing about the small, insignificant numbers. I, have, I can't do nothing about the small population, but 80%. That's damn near every black man wants a black woman. And if 55% of black men are single and childless, who the fuck do you think they're going to be dealing with?
if they want a people get angry at me when I tell them, if when I make when I point out the reality, if and I'm gonna say it slow for you short bus motherfuckers. If a black man in this country, the United States of America, if a black man wants a black woman, there's a 75% chance he's going to get a single mother. The numbers say so. This isn't me saying so. The numbers say so. The data, the one thing that black men keep, keep bitching about is the fact that black women don't want to believe the data. Well, guess what, black men? Here's the data that you need to believe. If you want a black woman in this country, there's a set, because 75% of our women that are single, get Guess who the fuck you're getting? A single mother. That's what the data shows. That's not me sitting here advocating for you to do that. I'm just telling you what the numbers say. The thing that you say that you want more than anything. You sit up here saying that you don't that that you want a black woman. Well, guess what? She comes with a damn kid. I'm not telling you or advocating for you to do so. I'm not sitting here saying, yeah, yeah go baby mama, because that's where it's at. I'm not telling you to do that. It is a fucking bad deal to be a stepfather. I will tell you that. Over and over and over and over again. And just in a second here, I'm going to point out in a video clip that my homeboy, Life Lessons for Men, I'm going to point out in the video that he did, explaining, showing in real time why that's a bad deal. So why are so many of you so-called Men who are into the data talking about re that you that you that you operated logic. Why were you pissed at me for pointing out that one practical piece when you get up here and say, don't you ever date a baby mama because it ain't going to work because it's a bad deal. You saying don't date a baby mama, but yet I want a black woman. Explain to me how in the hell. That's supposed to work, given what I just laid out for you. Money is my thing because I'm trying to be rich, trying to put away meals. Here comes the money. Here we go. Here comes the money. All right. <clears throat> Shout out to Mr. Paul the Baptist. Hey, brother, what's up? I see you in other chats. Keep it cooking for 2024. I'm trying to do my thing. And, of course, the man of the hour, my God, Mr. DJ Hemp from This Might Be Risky. He about to watch the game. Yeah, I wish I was watching the game too, brother. And also, my, you know, one of my day ones, Mr. Coonley, I appreciate you. No comment, um, no question, just, just, just pure support and of course my my sister girl messy michonne is in the building happy new year y'all 2024 i can't wait till she get back to doing what she do best yeah so i appreciate the super chat y'all really 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 do um messy michonne she said let's see am i mad uh no i'm not mad i'm not mad at all I'm not mad at all. Brandon uh, says, yes, our women fully expect another black man to take full responsibility that belongs to another man. Wow, wow, wow. Yes, what a wild, wild world we live in. 
but the quote unquote manosphere lost their everlasting fucking mind at me yesterday, uh, last week. I think it was last week or the week before last. Lost their damn mind at me because I pointed, I just pointed out a fact. I pointed out a fact and they lost their damn mind. No, I wouldn't say a fact. I pointed out the flaw in the narrative. I pointed out a flaw in the narrative and I asked the question, how do you, and the number one answer I got out of that, you know what the number one answer I did get was, you got to tell these brothers to go get a passport. Okay. But God, God damn. That's exactly what every black, the 55% of black men are going to go do. The 54% of black men. Well, that's exactly what they're going to do. We're going to have tens of millions of brothers applying for their damn passport and going to Taiwan or Lithuania, some goddamn where, to find a woman. That's exactly what we're going to do. That's exactly what we're going to do. What's up, my good brother? The international. I'm using the term manosphere as in, in generic terms, quiet storm. I'm not. To me, the manosphere is. That's a whole nother stream that I believe that's that, that's a. I believe just pearly things destroyed it, but that's a whole nother thing. I'm using it as a generic term to define these brothers on these other channels that went off on me because I actually asked a fucking question. I asked a question. I asked a goddamn question. I asked him. And I'll drop the channels. This might be risky and Team Fatty and Beans and all these. I mean, a plethora of men went berserk. Team Fatty did a whole goddamn live stream trying to call me out on some shit. And guess what the fuck I did? Because I'm not for the run from nothing. Because I'm like, here are these cats over here. I can't stand it when somebody misrepresents what I said. And they misrepresented what I said. And then when I went over there and I confronted them, you know what Fatty said on his channel? To me, he was like, well, now that you put it like that, well, that makes a lot of sense. What the hell you mean now that I put it like that? It's how I put it the first goddamn time. I'm never, I will never, ever tell a man what to do with his life or how to do his life. But I will ask the questions. We are out here saying crap and we're not talking. Let me tell you guys something. For those of you that are in the chat, there are way more people who just watch than there is that participate in the chat. So when we're having these conversations, we're not just talking to each other. We're talking to the people that are watching. Do you not know how many people are influenced or get motivated or get their ideas or get their answers to their questions answered by simply watching? Do you not understand how often that happens? Do you not know the amount of people who actually started YouTube channels simply by watching somebody? The the uh the lead attorney. Many content creators say if it wasn't for lead attorney and him saying if you are over the age of 35, start a YouTube channel because you have life experience, you have something to offer. You don't have people never never was in this chat, but just watched him, heard him say that, and is out here doing their thing now and doing very well. So when we're having these conversations, and this is why so many people stop going to panels, because it's become a toxic waste dump of ignorance.
if you want to, you want an example of what happens to a toxic waste waste dump of a pa- of panels look at what happened to the Lapeef network it was 2 years ago the most prominent space in on these so called black side of youtube they used to get three, 4,000 people watching in the chat. Now they can get a, they can barely get a couple hundred. 